Hey everybody, this is DP. Um, thank you for the 100,000 plus views on my other video about ISO Hunt and Torrents. Um, you guys have been asking for an up-to-date video on how um, to access these torrent sites because uh, it's obviously been blocked to some of the US users. Now there's um, a back door we can go into. Um, if everyone, it's um, www.warpproxy dot com and if you go ahead and enter that you come to this screen right here and then this is like a, a back door through the Netherlands that uses an IP address from them so you can go ahead and type in isohunt.com and this will also allow you to unrestricted and uncensored browsing for free basically so this is what you get when you um, go through the back door to get into ISO Hunt this is the normal screen you should see um, but this is what shows up if you just go to no normal isohunt.com without going through War Proxy. Um, as of July 4th, they shut down their system. It's really, um, there's hardly anything on here that you can get. It's not very good. It goes through other places, and sometimes you have to pay to download, which is just a big waste of time. So if you go to warproxy.com and enter, um, ISO Hunt or any other site that you want to that's usually blocked to US users um, you can get through. That's how you get back into ISO Hunt. You navigate the site through normally. You can see that there's a new um, like status bar up here. You can also type in whatever whatever you want. Um, whatever site you want to go to. You can also use that for school because some schools block um, MySpace, Facebook, and other things to that effect. So that's how you get back into ISO Hunt, even though it's supposedly copyright laws going down. Also, um, you guys had questions about how to mount images and how to get into the game once it's done. Um, this is. You should all have Alcohol 120. This is the one I use. There's also other ones out there, but Alcohol 120 is the best, I think. Um, this is a game that we downloaded just to kind of show people what to do. Um, there's also other programs and stuff that I've downloaded you can see over here. So once you download the image and transfer it over to just another folder or wherever you downloaded it to, you can click and drag it over to Alcohol 120. And once it's over here, you can get rid of that pop it up. Right click and go mount on device. Once you install Alcohol 20 it will set you up with um, virtual drives and you don't even really need to worry about how they're made or anything like that. You can just right click mount on device and it will be there. So as you can see this screen popped up and just go ahead and you can click on open to view files obviously application you can just click on there to install it and sometimes they'll have um, a crack file which one this one doesn't let's see if we can try to find one that does so you can install the game normally by just doing that I know let's see I believe doom oh, now it's not working there we go sorry doom had one a crack in there. See how it says crack up here? If you click on that, you'll need to transfer this into the program files where you download. Um, for Windows 7, I found it the easiest is to right click and just hit copy. Go over to the folder, your program file folder, and hit right click paste, and then overwrite the second, overwrite the file that's usually in there. And then you can create a shortcut on your desktop using that. So people that have trouble starting games that don't um, can't find the crack folder. It's usually that. And there's also docs that um, come with it explaining step by step on how to install a game. So if you can't follow directions, I, I guess you're pretty much out of luck. So if you have any more questions, how to get into ISO Hunt, how to. Um, not all games will have a crack, but some games do. S install it like normal. 
and if it's like a three CD one, as you can see, Doom 3 had three CDs, just right click, mount on device, the second one will load, and um, it'll just install like a normal CD without having to put them in the CD-ROM drive. So once again, if you have any questions, email me. Um, put questions on the comments, and I'll be sure to try to answer them this time. Um, hey, thanks for watching, guys, and see you guys next time.